I believe that's our responsibility because uh, I, I found it uh, a way to give it back to the, the startup ecosystem. And we have to grow that ecosystem. At our stage when we meet founders, I think mostly it's not about product and idea. It's about how, where he's coming from. What's his strength? How motivated he is for his startup? How clearly he's thinking about that? How he's articulating the problem statement? What kind of big, uh, 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 is he thinking about some feature or a product as a, a capability? How big the time is? I think if you summarize it, it's mostly about we see the founder quality at our stage. Because if you increase the Series A, Series B, Series C, then definitely business proportion start increasing. In, in Series A, some idea and then founder. We have our sector hypothesis. Hey, this is commerce, supply chain, or uh, education tech. In that, then we see that, hey, this guy, what's his background? What, what problem statement he's bringing up? How big that it is? So that, those definitely will listen. I'm not saying that only founder, no. There is an idea and sector also we go through. And in that, definitely we ask those relevant questions. So who are your competitors? Why you think you will build these capabilities? All those answer has to be given. If he has some kind of metric, what he tracks, what kind of product he has, some initial tractions and all, we definitely look into it. Founder who get into the trap of valuation as a journey, I have seen, the, mostly I've seen they, they are not going anywhere. They struggle a lot. They don't, are not able to build that business. The people who are seen, valuation is a secondary thing. Definitely it's a justifying also what I'm building and how, look, at the end of the day, it's business. If there are more in, investors are interested in my business, definitely I will increase my valuation. But that should not be the matrix. Matrix should be, hey, what kind of value I am creating? What is my product? How is the attraction? How the user, uh, their Dao, Mao, their stickiness, their repeatability, how, what kind of my customer acquisition cost and all. So I think those should be the focus. Our vision was very simple at that time. Hey, people should buy online and we should supply to them. And if you'll see, day zero was not when we were building supply chain and logistics solutions. We thought there are courier companies with whom we can tie up and they will support water comes, they will pull. And initial three, four, initial two and a half or three years, we were only working with the partners. But we came with the term and conclusion. If you wanted to build this business, we have to build this capability. Otherwise, this is not happening because the existing players are, their priorities are not to support e-commerce e uh, as a uh, uh, supply chain because whole their muscle memory and their capabilities were very different than the requirement of the e-commerce. So we understood in two and a half years and then we decided to build the supply chain e-card as a capability because without that, it's not going to happen. Find that strength where you can enhance those strengths. So find the area where you can bring them back based on your strength. Second thing, uh, uh, find a real uh, product idea, which is tough. Uh, then build a good team in initial phase. I think good team you need to uh, uh, succeed. There is no exception of good team. Uh, so idea is as good as how big team you have. So might we have a great idea, if you don't have a team, you cannot build a company. If you have an average idea, have a great team, you can build a great company. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.